Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Hi there, I'm James Preston for Kalkine Media with a trending news update. Netball Australia is facing an existential crisis this week after Australia's richest woman, Gina Reinhart, decided to pull Hancock Prospecting's $15 million sponsorship deal. Hancock Prospecting's four-year sponsorship withdrawal comes after players from the national team raised concerns about wearing a uniform that included branding from the mining giant. One player, Donna Wallum, made a private complaint that she did not feel comfortable sporting the logo due to comments made by Miss Reinhardt's father, Lang Hancock. In the 1980s, Hancock suggested shockingly that Indigenous Australians should be sterilised to, quote, breed themselves out in the coming years. Hancock Prospecting's decision to withdraw the $15 million of sponsorship has left Netball Australia concerned about its financial future. Since the sponsorship collapse, Netball Australia supporters have called out big names in the business world to come out of the woodwork to support netball in the country. Following the news of the $15 million withdrawal, Victorian MP Fiona Patton took to Twitter to ask why renewable energy companies are not knocking down the door to get involved in the sponsorship deal. She specifically pointed towards electric vehicle maker Tesla, stating that Tesla CEO Elon Musk must have around $15 million of money down the back of a sofa. Meanwhile, sports reporter Mark Gottlieb argued that for any company that wished to sponsor Netball Australia, it would receive a lot more publicity in the current news cycle than any other advertising or sponsorship campaign. The Australian, however, has reported that Netball Australia faces a $25 million crisis if other companies were deterred from signing sponsorship deals. All right, that's all for this trending news update, but let us know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to keep it locked here on Calkine TV for the latest breaking news and market updates. I'm James Preston, reporting for Calkine Media.